Zero FXB, we're going to uh, import a new CSV file, digital contacts, into our Anytone 878 or 868 radio. So, uh, first thing, go to this site here called radioid.net and once here, go to database. Once you go to database, then go to here, database dump files. Then scroll down and go to the one that says, let's find it, user CSV. Now this was updated um, 11th of the 12th, 2020, all the other way around. So quite, quite recent. So, um, Let's click user CSV. So we're getting a CSV file here at the bottom. Not sure if you can see it. Let's just go up a bit. Yeah, you can see it. It's just here. So this is it. And I've downloaded it a few times. But anyway, so then I would go show in folder. I would copy it, copy, paste it into a file where, where you know you can find it. Okay. So now go to your uh, CPS program that we have here. Um, there you go. Too many radios in the background here. So let's turn them all down. Right. Um, now go to, at the top here, go to import. So it says tool, then import. And you get this. And one of them says digital contacts so you click digital contacts and then go to the file and find you know go to where you put that file and find it so I put mine in any tone 868 and I've renamed it with a date so I know when I did it so double click that and then at the bottom here you get the option to select import so we're not done yet. This is importing it from that file into the CPS program. So it does take a few minutes, so we'll have to wait. Okay, well that's done and we clicked OK at the end. Now we want to write it to our radio. So uh, the radio is connected to my PC. So here's the radio connected to the PC. We're now going to select on the computer. We're going to select here right to radio. So we click that. Click OK. And you do want to tick digital contacts. And then click OK. Hopefully you've selected the port. Um, you know, which you'll find in device manager if you, if you can't. You have an error if, if you're on the wrong COM port, which you change by setting selecting set here and then selecting the correct port so it's writing across now i'll show you what the radio looks like when it's doing it so you can see it's saying pc read so it's a lot of contacts you think it's like 150,000 or more uh, dmr database now which is excellent but takes a while so we're just waiting for that to complete but the idea behind it is when stations are coming into your DMR radio, um, you're going to have their their call sign and their information, their location information displayed, and with some it's even GPS, um, depending on the radio and the setup they've got. The, there is one a new thing that's come out called Talk Alias, been out for maybe a couple of years now, where you can set the radio to not use the database rather than to pick up the information being sent by the radio uh, in the DMR data and it will decode it and show it on the screen and you don't have to um, have this big storage of, of data um, and that's probably good for some of the older radios if they've got talk alias uh, because they, ha they just haven't got the memory in them. So we'll show you what this looks like when it's up and running. So as you can see the stations are coming in now. They've got their call sign, their DMR number, location, talk group. So that, that's the whole point of it. 
and you need to update it every now and again. 73.